This isn't a normal vlog. On Thursday the 23rd of August 2018, I had my hernia operation. Now I will be going into more detail about this operation in the video, but if you're screamish, if you don't really like blood, if you don't really like the thought of operations or anything, turn back now. But I think this, this video is very important for you guys to watch, even if you don't require surgery, even if you, you'll never have surgery in your life. I think it's important that you know what people go through and in case you have to go through that in your life. But on with the video. Focus, please. Please focus. So I've just woke up. It's five o'clock in the morning. I guess I'll see you guys when I've actually had the operation. How bad I look, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys in what? About five hours' time. I'll see you then. So I've just come out of surgery. It is literally one of the most weird things I've had to do in my life. I'm still waiting. I could have spent, I think, two hours here. Um, and that's about that, I think, and then I can go home. So I've just got back home. Um, there isn't really a lot to say, obviously. This video is gonna be quite quiet now because I've just been through surgery and to be honest, I do feel still quite uncomfortable with it. Um, and to be honest, the reason why I'm making this video such is because of the fact that if anyone is watching this video and is going to exa have exactly the same surgery or a little bit different to what I'm having, I want to really like calm you, your nerves about this surgery because this surgery isn't something that you should be afraid of. This surgery isn't something you should be worried about. It's, it's just something that like, I feel like yesterday, I, I mean, two nights ago, I was having nightmares about this surgery. And to be honest, I think it was all in vain because the, the things that they do, as soon as you go in that anaesthetic room and they put the needle in you and they put the anaesthetic in after they've had the needle, you're out in a matter of seconds. Like, you don't know anything as soon as, I always have this thought in the back of my head that I would like, if you're gonna, if you guys are ever gonna have surgery, I always, I think you always have this thought, but you always have the thought in the back of your head that no, no matter what you do, you can't numb your nerves, and when you're asleep, you'll feel something. I didn't feel a thing. This is what I'm dealing with. Obviously, I've still got, this thing in my hand was where the needle went in. Um, and to be honest, like, I've, I've been walking and that, and this has all started to appear, this is all blood. Um, this is what I'm dealing with, but to be honest, like you may look at it and you may think, like, literally, if I flip my camera back to lens, lens right around, you may look at it and you may think, oh, shit, man. Well, I mean, what have you done, mate? What have you done? I mean, that what looks so painful, but to be honest, I'm I'm not as drugged up as I was, but I'm still on painkillers, so I'm not really that. I don't really know much about it. I can't really feel it as much. The only way I can describe it is the fact that you know, you sometimes you see people with really bad postures. I've got really bad posture and it just feels like like, like a load of cell sellotape is, is like round my round my stomach area. It's not really a massive thing, it's nothing not nothing really, really major, like it just isn't. I hope this video enjoy you'll enjoy this video if it was quite, you know, um, educational in a way. Uh, I hope you guys actually enjoyed this video as I've already said. But I've been Matt, I need to get some rest. You guys have been awesome as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.